we are back with another video, man. This is the diabolical trial of Shredder, man, for Ninja Turtles. Y'all know the Ninja Turtles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing. Yeah. Okay, I'm about to say, I'm about to say, no count, man. But hey, we got some beautiful ladies, man. Y'all make some noise, man. Hey, we got to get straight into the video, man. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. My name is Jalisa, and you can find me on YouTube at Jalisa's Journal. And that's J E L I S S A Journal. Ooh, what's in a journal? So sneaky. <laughs> Listen, I'm a mother and I got a journal this shit because it's hard. Okay. 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 Got you. <laughs> I am. Um, my YouTube channel is the Dodo, and I'm like a reaction channel, but I'm more music reaction. Okay. Go support her. No, no cow. It'll be lit over there. I ain't gonna lie. All them reactions. Hi, I'm Melanie Love. I'm a music artist, so you can follow me on Instagram and all platforms at Melanie Love. My name is Jada. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Jada Noel. That's two A's, two L's. Hey guys, it's Cassie G. Make sure y'all subscribe to my youtube channel at cassie g c-a-s-s-i -S space g okay 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 then <laughs> wait we might gotta we might gotta forward the video on that part again no cow, <laughs> no cow. Hey, no, you and no. Okay. Is it good right here? Yeah, yeah, you good? Okay. Yeah. What's that, Solomon? <laughs> okay. What about you, Eve? What? You ain't, I, I got some cargo pants. Hey, that's cargo this. Pants. Yeah, yeah, the fat red card. Watch out for Shredder. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another trial of the round table. And a new challenger is approaching. Or if I want to be specific, challengers are approaching. But these challengers are all known under one name. And who is this man exactly? Well, uh, let's just say this man has been beefing with Turtle since 1987. It's Shredder. Where? Ladies and gentlemen, the shredder. So everybody <laughs> sit back and relax because the amount of evidence and exhibits I have on this man is about to make this the most massive and ambitious roundtable trial to date. So without further ado, it is time to commence the shredder trials. Exhibit A. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, the Utram Shredder. New York City, a city where you can find damn near everything from your bacon, egg and cheeses, a random mm, getting sturdy on every single block, <laughs> fat ass <laughs> mutated rats, and of course, ninjas. That's why I'm scared of the rats. I beg your pardon. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the TMNT version of NYC, where the streets are ran by ninjas. And to be specific, the foot plant ran by none other than Oroku Saki or also known as the Shredder. Now, this man Shredder basically ruled the streets of New York with a iron fist. He had every single rival gang and every single mob boss bend the knee. I mean, look at his first example. We got a run of the mill drug deal going on right now between the foot and some <laughs> random ass mobs. So bro right here come up and say, you got the stuff. Do you have the payment? Oh, we got the money, all right? So bro throws the briefcase to him, and Big Dog got the case and started counting the money on the spot. And when he finished, okay. he was like, Do you play us for a fool? This is only half of what we agreed upon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because you're going to get the other half after we take it off of your dead corpse, bud. You have signed your death right. No, 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 no. And hey, look at the mob. These boys are terrifying. Oh, yeah. So they start shooting, and they just start beating the shit out of them. They stood oh. Absolutely no oh. chance. And these were level one foot grunts, by the way. The foot grunts that Shredder treats like absolute garbage. I mean, look at these workplace <laughs> conditions, my nigga. This okay. man treats yeah. these foot grunts as his personal punching bags. First off, before they even start this beating session, they gotta glaze the nigga. They all got on one knee and started <laughs> oh, no. saying in unison, Master Shredder, our glorious king, we are honored okay. to get our ass beat by you. So the reverse <laughs> jumping session started. No way, foot bro. nigga number no one decides to pull the sword out, but look at this, weave roundhouse to the door. He just whooped they ass without even trying. Look at this. He bicycle kicked a whole grown man into another man. And look how he landed. A whole hog ass in his face. And he just got absolutely blocked. And I 
honest to God, feel bad for these level one foot ninjas because they probably go through this every day. He probably just beat their ass for entertainment. This is just straight torture, bro. And my God, if you ever failed this man. <laughs> well, let's ask this guy right here. So this random guy right here failed to steal this armored truck for Shredder okay. because the turtle stopped him. So bro is pleading for his life right now. He is saying, but please, Mr. Saki, you must understand. I was attacked by some buff ass turtles. But Shredder looked at bro and said, <laughs> shut your trap. You are fucking failure. No. Oh, no. Please. So he leaps at this man and you just see the door shut. And all you hear is this man screaming and getting his yeah, ass beat. Like and you never see or hear from this man ever again. So guess what? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You guessed it. Murder on aisle four. This is dead. But there was one man who suffered the absolute worst of Shredder's wrath because of his constant failures. And that is none other than Baxter Stockman. Holy well, not the black man. What he did to this nigga Stockman I don't is I don't inhumane. Don't First of all, you're probably wondering how Stockman even got in this situation. Well, he was a scientist working for Shredder. And one day, the turtles in April O'Neil blew up his lab. So while this man was trying to run away, he ended up uh, running into Hunt, Shredder's big ass enforcer. So Hunt told Stockman, seems like you're in yeah. trouble, Mr. Stockman. And Stockman knew he was cooked, trying to yap and lie his ass off. But Hunt grabbed this nigga by the collar and walked him all the way back to Shredder. So they get back to base. And this motherfucker, Stockman was like, well, you see Master Shredder? This is just a minor setback. Because with your funding, of course, I'll be back at work tomorrow. But this nigga Shredder grabbed his claw, got up and told him, Nigga, do you think you're off the hook? You must pay for your failure, Stockman. So Hun drug him off to God knows where. And the next time you see Stockman, he has a scar and a eye patch over his eye. He gouged out his eye. <laughs> he straight up mutilated this man. And look how he treats this man on a daily basis. Stockman like, oh, Master Shorter with my I believe genius brains, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. Shut your black ass up, Stockman. <laughs> and guess what happened after this? He failed him again. So they took him back to the torture chamber and Hun mutilated him again. And the oh next goodness. time you see Stockman, <laughs> oh bro cut off his arm and paralyzed him. Oh. He turned this nigga into Charles oh. Xavier. I'm so I'm pretty sure you don't get how this works now. <laughs> Every time this man fails, Shredder takes one of his body parts. And this isn't even the last time, but we'll save that for later. And trust me, it gets worse. Oh, no. Nah. So. His first confrontation with I'll the turtles sorry. was an absolute beatdown. And before this even happened, Shredder tried to sweet talk this nigga Leonardo. He went up and told bro, Ah, uh, hello, nigga turtle son. We don't have to be <laughs> in the turtle son. So take this sword as my gift. So this man Leo went back to Master Splinter. And when he told him this, Master Splinter was like, Oh, hell no, my son. Don't you dare trust that motherfucker. And this man Splinter was right because PTSD came and hit him like a train. Because years Years ago, when Splinter was the pet rat of Hamato Yoshi, the Foot Clan busted up in their house and jumped this man. So then Shredder came in and they started to torture him while Splinter was watching. Then after he was done, he came in right in front of his face. So now they knew who they was oh, dealing yeah. with. So later on that night, while they're on a rooftop, they end up getting ambushed by the foot. And here comes this motherfucker Shredder. And this man came in pissed <laughs> off. He was like, I gave you that expensive sword and you still decide to fight against me. Did you know how much that cost me? Like what, uh, $50, no. bro? Try 50,000, nigga. <laughs> uh, so Shredder sends his foot ninjas to attack him. And while this man Mikey is just twirling around his nunchucks, Shredder comes from the top rope and drop kicks him across the building. Then he looks over at Leonardo. Bro said, come get some of this shit, too. Then over here, look at Donatello just spinning his staff like an idiot. Nigga think he Wukong. Shredder comes behind him and just throws him. And look at Donnie's stupid ass. You know he can't break throws. Then this man threw a sword to light the entire building on fire fire and just start staring down Leo and Raph. So they all jump up and Shredder just knocks them out both in the oh air. God. This nigga is cooking them. Dang and then look at this. Raphael gets up just to get kicked off 
of the building into uh -huh. a dumpster. Then he uh -huh. kicked Leonardo off of uh -huh. the dog landed on a taxi. I and them boys had to this. retreat because Shredder then destroyed the whole damn building. And look at this motherfucker walk out the fire and saying, Oh, turtles. Come out to play. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be shitting bricks if I was in their shoes. At this point, hey, I ain't no turtle. I ain't no ninja turtle no more. No count, though. Yeah, they getting it bad. So what's y'all favorite ninja turtle? Raphael. I don't know their name. I guess none of them now because they, they all Angelo. get that kick. <laughs> 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 so then he called over his foot ninja. He said, Foot ninjas, glaze me. Yes, Master Shredder. If you want to pay raise, find crazy. those turtles. So Shredder had a bunch of foot ninjas just on a wild nobody. goose chase. <laughs> these boys throughout the entire oh, night until the turtles just decided, F it. We can't outrun the nigga, so we might as well just fight him. So later on, they decide to have a standoff <laughs> on the top of this roof. So here come this man Shredder, and he immediately said, Foot ninjas, jump the turtles. So they got a whole oh, brawl no going on right now. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this version of Shredder does not believe in fair ones at all. Every chance he gets, he's gonna jump you. Look at this nigga Mikey just fighting for his life right now. Bro was on a f***ed up ankle just for Shredder to come out of nowhere and send him flying. I mean, look at this nigga. Donatello is clearly getting jumped just for Shredder to walk up to bro and tell him, Hey there, little green nigga. Catch this four-piece combo, nigga. Sit this Donatello flying while he was off guard. This nigga Dang. don't believe in fair ones. Look at Leonardo. This man is backpedaling just for Shredder to come behind him and try to save him. Bro got lucky. Raphael bailed him out, but they just ended up trading places. The Shredder picked this man Raphael up and threw him across the building. And look at poor Mikey. Y'all already know what's about to happen. Shredder sneaks this nigga again. Send him flying to the wall. And of course, this man Leo's the last man standing. Just for him to run right into Shredder and Bro just looked at him and said, Night, night, nigga turtle. <laughs> So this man Shredder had him beat. The turtles are already down 2-0 against this nigga. So right when he's about to deliver the killing blow, which is clear attempted murder, by the way, Master Splinter comes down and bails out his sons. Okay. And this man Shredder was pissed. Okay. He told okay, Master Splinter, Looks like New York's ever-growing rat pandemic has still been unsolved. But Master Splinter was not about to take that disrespect. He led Shredder over to this water tower and gave him the bait of the century. He just started making bro miss so he would destroy the supports of the water tower. So when the tower started shaking, and Master Splinter told him, This is for my Master Yoshi. So, bro, kicked the water tower on him. So, dog got washed off the building, <laughs> and the drown. water tower fell on him. Okay. So, Master yeah. Splinter then bailed these boys out. Because they think Shredder okay. is dead. And I mean, shit. Anybody would. Uh, Nobody is surviving that shit. But we would soon understand that this man is fucking unkillable. And I mean this literally. Bro dodges death like ice spice shaking ass. It just comes <laughs> natural to him. So about a good week later, Leonardo decided to go on a morning training run. And everything just seemed all fine. Master Splinter was like, oh, take care of yourself, my son. And make sure to get that 40-yard dash faster. You looked slow the other day. So Leo goes out on his morning training run. So about one hour later, it started to get a little worried. Donatello's smart ass was thinking in his head, Man, what the Sigma? It's eight o'clock sharp and Leo left at 7 a.m. Usually it takes him about 30 <laughs> minutes to run. Like hey guys, well, what the fuck's going on? Like I don't know, bruh, but something is totally off. Oh. And their suspicions were right because literally five seconds later, Leonardo comes flying through the window. And this oh. nigga is beat the f up. And Leonardo's last words before he lost conscious was, oh, he, He's back. Yes, this man Shredder came back with a vengeance because while Leonardo was on his training run, Shredder sent his elite guard to jump this nigga. And when they was done, they took Leonardo's swords, gave it to Shredder, and bro bended his swords and snapped him in half like a skank. And not even a minute later, the ninjas started busting into April O'Neil's apartment. They said, we committing home invasion today. So the turtles had to retreat to get to the store downstairs before they got overran. So later on, when they got to the store, Shredder comes and kicks down the door and bro walked in saying one two three four how many nigga turtles are in my store <laughs> well um actually you're the one busting into april's store right now so uh technically you're the one stealing bro you know what mikey 
you actually got a point right now. Silence, you two <laughs> green ships. Put all that yapping and come get these hands. So they dive in on him, and Raphael comes in first. But look at this. Bro hits the Counter. cook of the century and punishes the hell out of him. Mikey comes in oh. and gets cooked as usual. And here comes Donatello. Mm. He whiffs. And look at the sidestep. Ah. Bitch. Get this man into a stripper pole. <laughs> but nah, I ain't gonna oh, lie. We gotta ask his question. Hey, but why the hell you got a stripper pole in your store? You damn freak. Shorty probably got a secret OF. So here comes Master Splinter. And obviously, Shredder wants his run back. So they start fighting again. But I ain't gonna lie. Shredder started getting cooked by this rat again. Because Master Splinter just had too much sauce. That's too much sauce. So bro ended up kicking a bookcase off. And they decided to retreat in this cellar. So while the foot was trying to open up the door, the cops ended up pulling up. So Shredder told his foot to disappear. But before he left, he decided to do some crazy shit. Bro walked up to the cooler and locked them in. Then he pulled out a grenade Molotov, set the place on fire, and started leaking gas. And bro started to walk away and said, This is what you get for camping like some pussies. Say your prayers, nigga turtles. So the gas started to leak, and bro blew up the whole block. This is just ridiculous, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, this man had to have caught some bodies here. I mean, you literally see these policemen get blown away. 99.9% .9 of the time, a regular is not surviving that. So let's be real, dead man. Now the turtles did get out of there because of a vent, but look at April, she is devastated. She done lost her whole business and her whole apartment. And the whole crew basically had to leave New York. So Shredder effectively ran these niggas out of New York and put Leo in a coat. She'll be straight, go ahead, Scott. Start that all off, girl. Let's go ahead and start that all <laughs> off. <laughs> it's your time now to shine. No cow. But that's crazy. I, I didn't think with the whole locking them in the freezer, I ain't know or whatever was going to happen or transpire from that. Oh, crazy. Bro was out for like a week. So the turtles were covered mm. as time passed and they decided to assault this man's lair. So while they broke into Shredder's <laughs> lair, they ended up finding some pretty dark things that Shredder has done. And that would be human experimentation because they found this lab and it consisted of a bunch of mutated shredders. Ooh. And also they was kidnapping motherfuckers. They found this video of these foot mad scientists that was experimenting on people that they kidnapped and was mutating them into monsters. So yeah, this man is a sick nigga, bro. But anyways, they get to the top floor to confront Shredder. But before they get the chance to fight, this motherfucker back Mr. Stockman pulls up in a hole. So Shredder was like, oh. Stockman, what the fuck are you doing? Trying to get Real his back, Shredder, ain't he? This is my emancipation proclamation. Cause I'm done being your motherfucking slave, nigga. So this man grabbed Shredder, started throwing him around and dog walking. Stockman was finally getting his back right. from all the mutilation and the torture he's received. He but his reparations would not last right. long. Shredder jumped up and just sent bro to the shadow room. Oh. So after that altercation, <laughs> Shredder was like, now then. At least he stood up, though. At least he stood up, right? Right. He tried. What, yeah. what you think? He should escape or he went but out like Shredder, a man? Right? Shredder, it's just looking like he's unbeatable. Yeah. For real. I think yes, he could. He should have did a time machine or something, bruh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. thinking you're going to come in there with that, bruh. That's trash. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Shredder starts whooping their ass. So here comes Master Splinter trying to bail out his sons again. But this time, it wasn't going to work. Shredder jumps oh. over your own roundhouse this nigga through the glass. Oh, and all for the not damn Dr. Splinter. No lucky way. this was Leonardo yeah. saving his life and not Spider-Man. Because we all know what happened last time Pete was in this situation. Yeah. Blew that back out. But while Leo was saving Master Splinter, everybody else was just getting their ass kicked. It looked like Shredder at this point was just having fun. Then later on into the fight, he ends up pulling out this sword called the Sword of Tengu, okay. which is a mystical sword that he had made a long time ago. We will learn about this soon. But he ends up blasting the turtles and knocking them all out. So they was fighting for dear life at this point because Shredder's using this busted ass sword. But they ended up knocking it out of his hand so Leo could grab it. And Leonardo and Shredder stood off for one final strike. And well, the plot kicked in hard and Leonardo ended up decapitating the Shredder. So now the oh, battle is over okay. and the turtles have defeated the Shredder. Okay, or so they thought. Because okay. this man back. up 
grabbed his head and walked what? off into the fire. And how the oh. hell did he do this? <laughs> well, he got this no is where shit gets crazy. No way. Nah, I ain't no the way. Shredder trials. Uh, exhibit A wrap up. Multiple counts of murder, mutilation, torture, kidnapping, home invasion, trafficking, racketeering, property damage, multiple counts of attempted murder, assault on multiple counts. Exhibit B. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, Shirelle. Okay. Now, <laughs> let's get the elephant out the room. This nigga is not a Rokusaki. This motherfucker <laughs> is an alien. <laughs> yes. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I I meet Shirell, the universal genocidal maniac. This is the worst criminal in the universe. And he is also the like Ultron Shredder. Now, it's time to go back to the 11th century. Now, this alien race called the Utrams are a very peaceful race, but there was one outlier, and that was oh. Shirelle. Now, currently, they He's have him the in bunch. custody, and they're taking him back to the planet to be tried for his crimes against the universe. But Shirelle was not going to let that happen. So later on, Shirelle ended up escaping and overriding the ship's engines, making the ship crash on the nearest planet, and that planet was Earth. Now, the Utrons were very technologically advanced, but since Earth was basically so far behind back then, they couldn't repair their ship, so they were stranded. So they decided we might as well just blend in and live with these people. So with the technology they had, they made exosuits so they could blend in with humans. So okay. one day, when this Utron was taking an exosuit on a test drive, he ends up falling into a trap and he gets six flying by a log. And this trap was set up by none other than Shirelle. And he looked at the Shirelle. poor little nigga in there and said, <laughs> What a wonderful toy. Move, little nigga. So he carjacks this little nigga. <laughs> then he decides to just pick him up and just throw him. Who knows where that little nigga just went? But after this is where everything makes sense. We see these Utrams working, and they end up getting attacked by foot ninjas. And they are being led by none other than Shredder. the Shredder, a.k.a. Shredder. Shirelle. This version of Shredder that we have been talking about is a 1,000-year-old alien that Dang, established what? the Foot Clan back all the way in the feudal era of Japan. And look at this man. He is beating the dog shit out of these Utrams. And look at Buddy right here. He just like, oh, what, what is the meaning of this? Uh, what, what have we done to you? What have you done to me? Oh, simply breathing the same air as me. Look at him. He is boxing this nigga out. This motherfucker been jumping nigga since the 11th century. Now, y'all remember that sword? The sword of Tengu? This is when it was made. So he had blacksmiths build him a sword that was salvaged from the Utram technology. So the blacksmith presented him with the sword and the blacksmith told him, oh uh, yes, now are you ready to discuss payment, Lord Shredder? Payment? <laughs> oh, I will gladly give you payment. Oh, so he aimed the sword at them and blew <laughs> oh. oh my nigga, why? They go hey, I would accept the cash app, okay? I would hey, yeah. accept the cash app. I don't need that type of payment, no cow. Gladly <laughs> built that sword for you, and you just blew him to bits. <laughs> okay, nigga. Triple homicide on all three. So after this, throughout the century, Shredder just expanded the foot to what we know it is as today, and has been beefing and has been trying to kill all the Utrams ever since, and anybody allied with them. Because y'all remember Master Yoshi, uh. Splinter's Master? Yeah, he has been allied with the Utrams and has been beefing with Shredder for years. He even corrupted his best friend to defect and fight to the death while he watched. Like, this man is 100% pure evil. Not a single <laughs> redeeming quality. So now, let's go back to the present. Now, after this man dodged death again, I mean, this man had a fight with the Utrams and the Turtles and survived oh, a building shit. that imploded on him. Crazy. Still to this day, I don't know how bro survived this. He decided to <laughs> take out his anger on none other than Baxter Stockman. Now, as we saw earlier, Stockman tried to kill Shredder, but failed miserably. So Shredder decided it was time for some more punishment. And I mean severe punishment. 
Because the next time you see Baxter Stockman, this man has been reduced to a brain and an eyeball in a globe. <laughs> Dead. This, in honest to God, is a fate <laughs> worse than death. This man has lost his body, and the only what? thing he has left is his nervous system in a jar. And that was the most fucked up thing. Oh, wow. Sean wow. looked at him and told him, Baxter <laughs> Stockman, it seems that you have overdosed on Ozempic. And then look oh. at this. Oh. They start shocking this man. <laughs> Oh, this is actually horrible. The fact no that way. this was shown on four kids is insane because we slowly watch this dude Dang. get mutilated and reduced all the way to a brain in a jar. Lisey's still oh. alive. Lisey's still alive. Right. I would be, I would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but and he just kept him okay, okay. So that's that dude. I think I did know that glass jar thing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> crazy work, bro. So fast forward yeah, a couple days work. later, and the turtles confront Shredder on this ship. So obviously Shredder starts talking shit immediately. Ah, uh, nigga turtles. Fancy that you are here <laughs> because now you can be test subjects to my new footbox. Roger, Roger. So this robot walks up and blows this Raphael <laughs> So a whole brawl ends up breaking out. And of course, Shredder and Splinter face off again. And poor old Master Splinter got his ass whooped. Like, Shredder was teeing off on this nigga. Like, you can see the pain in Master Splinter shaking his head like, Oh, Lord, 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 I'm getting too old for this shit. So a big ass explosion goes off. And Splinter ends up getting knocked down. And Unk is not getting up. Somebody need to call Life Boy for this old nigga now. Because Shredder's about to kill this man. But this Triceraton ran Shredder away. So he okay. is a boxer with dino, nigga. Hey, and this big it. ass motherfucker picked him up and threw him across the ship and hammer fisted him into this fire pit. So Big Dog thought he won. He was like, Victory for the Republic! But the turtle was like, Yo, turn around, bro! Because this motherfucker Shredder got up and stabbed him in the booty. In the booty? Oh, oh, like he stabbed him in the ass. So while Shredder's walking oh, over to kill the turtles, Dino nigga gets party. up, bear hugs nah, Shredder, really. takes him over to the fire pit, and falls in the room. Oh. So you gotta think, That's no wild. way Shredder survives this. The ship literally blows up, and bro got dragged down to the bottom of the ocean by Dino nigga. Well, uh, he lives to see another day. I will say That's this well. once and I'm I will him. say it again. <laughs> this man is unkillable. Oh, and by the way, Dino nigga's dead. That man did not come out that water. So his sacrifice is in vain. Oh, so we got another man. murder on our one. So, so he made after a this, for Shredder decided to do another no, nefarious right. act. So the city of Beijing became a floating city after the Triceratons tried to invade Earth. So Shredder wanted the thing that was making the city float. So you know what bro decided to do? Steal the thing and try to drop the city on the Earth. Like dog, yeah. this nigga is an actual maniac. And guess what? When Hun and Baxter Stockman failed to get the job done, he made these boys slaves. Oh. I'm not kidding. <laughs> he got these niggas working in the steel mill in chains. No way. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This nigga Baxter Stockman needs reparations immediately. Because his brother done lost his body, and now he a damn slave. And look Dang. at Shredder come in. Stockman was like, oh, Lord, Master Shredder, I I I'm working diligently. Nigga, did I say that you could speak? <laughs> oh, Lord bless his brother. So more time would pass, and Shredder would start gaining more influence in the city. I mean, he had the mayor on his payroll, and he started to build a ship because he wanted to go to the home planet of the Ultrams and conquer their planet. But the Turtles was not having that shit okay. because if they don't stop him now, he's going to take over the galaxy. So they pull up on Shredder, and they don't sugarcoat it. They start jumping the hell out of this man. Like, this shit was crazy. They had bro stumbling and shit. Bro fell to the ground and he was like, in all my centuries, I've never had my ass beat like this. So y'all know Shredder was not about to go out like no bitch. Bro pops up and starts beating the hell out of everybody. Planted these niggas on a wall and Splinter came from the top rope. But bro caught the sword and kicked him across the room. So Shredder ends up fleeing all the way to his ship and he takes off into space. 
So it was time for the final confrontation. So Shredder pulls up in his final boss armor that's got four fucking arms on some General Grievous shit. So Shredder, with the help of his delusional daughter, Karai, start whipping their ass. Like he's just throwing these niggas. <laughs> And then look at this. They tried to run up and electrocute bro, but bro grabs the wires from him and he electrocutes Master Splinter. I thought was done for it. Then bro well, steps behind Leonardo. Booted him all the way to Karai <laughs> and she stabs him. Leonardo was cooked. Then it was Raphael's turn. Bro grabs him and hits him with the GPS. This nigga Ooh. think he's seeing Pump. And here come Mikey getting his legs taken out and stomped on. Oh. And of course, here comes Donatello coming to get washed Ooh. like usual. This brother smart as hell, but goddamn, he the one that get his ass beat the most. And Shredder <laughs> has defeated the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He won the final battle. So while he was about to kill Leonardo, Karai comes in and stops him. And this man was pissed. He was like, daughter, what the daughter? fuck are you doing? Father, this is dishonorable. Have you no honor, my nigga? Honor. Bitch, fuck all that shit. Bro, because a bitch slapped his, his own daughter and is about to kill oh. her. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This nigga's terrible. But right before this That's was about to happen, the Ultrams pulled up stopped time and warped everybody off the ship because they was coming back to earth to arrest this nigga so we end up going to the utram home world and they are about to put this man on trial for all the atrocities he has committed and my god when you hear some of this shit it is absurd so the first thing that they bring up that on this one planet, their ruler Dolph Ed testified that he willingly launched an attack on this planet called Enif Gold and over 1 million innocent people were killed. Mm. Oh, oh, but wow. we're not done. Next up, this alien Juan Ron Otho proved that he incited a civil war on this planet called Eno 2 in an effort to mine their raw minerals without restriction. Now guess how many people died during this? A whopping 3.2 million. This body count is in the millions. And I saw one comment before I made this video. Some said, he's making a video on Shredder. What does bro do? Doesn't he just fight turtles? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. And then they got him That's a conspiracy to overthrow the government. So all the Utroms in the Galactic Council came together and said, Sherelle, we the Galactic Council find you guilty and you will be banished to eternal exile. Nani? So they exiled this man to a freezing planet. Oh. And that was the end of the Utrom Shredder. Until he decided to try to destroy the multiverse, of course. The, the Shredder, Shredder Trials. Exhibit B start. wrap up. Multiple assaults, bribery, conspiracy, mutilation, attempted mass murder, multiple counts of murder, slavery, multiple counts of genocide. Exhibit C. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our final exhibit. And that, of course, is multiversal destruction. So after Shredder got exiled on the frozen planet, he ended up getting saved by none other than the 1987 oh. Shredder. Now, the reason why he did this is because, well, the 87 Shredder is kind of a Is this nigga serious? And he was tired of getting his ass beat every episode. So he okay. wanted to see what he could learn from his other counterparts. So of course, he chose the evilest one out of all of them, the Utrom Shredder. Now, Utrom Shredder obviously betrayed 87 Shredder because this nigga's an idiot. And he decided, I'm gonna destroy every single Ninja Turtle that ever existed. So he took over 87 oh, no. Shredder's Technodrome and started to wreak havoc across the city. Mm. Shit, the whole military pulled up. They called the Army, Air Force, Marines, and they couldn't do nothing. They ended up becoming cannon fodder. This nigga was killing multiple people. And this maniac is just laughing while he's committing mass murder and destroying the city. <laughs> this motherfucker is crazy. It got to the point 87 Shredder and Krang started to question this. They walked up to him and said, ah, what the devil are you doing? Let's just destroy the turtles and be done with it. Yeah, destroy them already, man. Booze, you bum ass niggas dare question me. Shut the fuck up. Oh, he's got to the point where he's abusing his own counterpart. 
nasty work. Oh, so geez. later on, this man ended up capturing the 2003 turtles and the 1987 ones so he could use their DNA to find the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So he found Turtle Prime, which was the world of the first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 1984. Ooh. And he starts Ooh. to destroy their world. Like this this nigga's destroying the first comic. He's a fucking maniac. So it was time for the final, final battle. So to save the multiverse, the 2003, 87, and 84 Turtles, along with 87 Shredder, Krang, Karai, and Master Splinter was about to jump this man. Because if he destroys this universe, everybody gets erased yeah. from existence. So this yeah. motherfucker turned into a giant, and he said, oh, this is my lucky day. I count 12 Turtles, a rat, my bitch main counterpart, a pink blob, and my thought daughter. Oh, you can suck. My oh. giant show! So this man just starts to destroy everything. This stupid ass nigga Crane turned giant just to get his ass whooped. Then this man turned his hand into a Gatling gun and started spraying and praying. And this just ended up becoming a whole episode of AOT. Cause this man done became a damn Titan and he tried to stop on niggas now. So then he snatched the 84 turtles and started squeezing them to death. And this took everybody up because since they're dying, everybody's dying, even what? Shredder himself. So Karai pled to him. She tried to talk no jutsu to him. She said, father, please, are you willing to destroy yourself? for some damn <laughs> titles. And he stopped for a second, but then he thought to himself and decided, you little green shits are the bane of my existence. So if I die too, so be it. So this man is about to destroy everything, even himself. Oh this nigga my. is crazy. Bro is willing to destroy himself just That's so they don't hate. exist. This uh, might be the craziest hate boner of all time. Dio, you got competition, buddy. So right before the multiverse is about to be erased, this man ends up getting hit by ninja stars. In 87, Donatello actually came in clutch. It's a miracle. And Shredder ended up getting hit by his own techno drone laser, evaporating him and finally putting an end to the Utrom Shredder. And with that, ladies Finally. and gentlemen, with all of these charges, there should be no debate he passes trial. We are round tabling this nigga now. This little bastard is the definition of a menace to society. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, one trial down and two more to go. So now I know the question's coming. CJ, when's the second trial dropping? Well, I got good news for you. I'm already damn near done with it. So until we there we go there we go what y'all think about that video though that's cool that was crazy it was interesting as fuck i ain't gonna lie Sharon, <laughs> i ain't know all this about master shredder you know what i'm saying like yeah yeah damn he was a little <laughs> i just thought he just got I just seen when he got his butt kicked by the ninja turtles i ain't know all this and that uh, he got his first heartbreak and got the wild and out i don't know who broke his heart <laughs> that is insane right there you know what i'm saying but hey thank you ladies so much man y'all go follow these beautiful ladies no cap man i'm gonna leave their instagram everything in the description man y'all showed us some love thank y'all so much for coming we out gang all right Bye.